everybody. This is February 5th, 2017. And you're looking at a new member of the Cube Computer desktop family. You guys have requested it, so I built it. A desktop computer for the tech room. Now, it's not your typical e-machines either. Um, this is a case that I've had since around 2009. I think I actually done the modifications in 2009. And you're thinking, oh, you gave it a paint job. Yeah, it's silver, not black. It's actually silver. You can see where some of the paint has gotten scratched off from where I had this in storage. For many, many years, this machine was stored behind the tote that's under this table of the old place. Um, yeah. So that's probably why you never really ever even seen it. But this is not your typical e machines. Let's look at the side of it. Yeah, this is a custom design case I I made back in 08 or 09. I cut a big hole in the side of it and installed a plexiglass window. Which I think looks very cool. The machine does need to have some lighting inside of it, but I mean I got an LED fan in the back of it that gives you a little bit of, of light. And for the power supply I used one of those old cherry red um, power supplies. This as a matter of fact, this is the one that was previously installed on the Black Max years ago. Still works just fine. Um, motherboard is an older AM2 socket motherboard with an Athlon 64X2 processor. I th think it's a 4400 plus. I don't need anything that's outrageously powerful for this. Um, I'm using the onboard graphics. That's pretty much all I need for this. I'm um, using a DVD ROM drive and a CD burner. Yeah. I would, I would prefer to have had a DVD writer in this, but I don't have any other DVD writers that actually function that have e-machines faceplates on, but I just didn't. I was like, I got, a, I got a DVD ROM. I'll just slap that in there. I can use the Metower Lux for burning DVDs if needed. Um, I have two hard drives in here. I have a one terabyte drive. I'm using this machine for client data backups. And there is a 120 gigabyte hard drive next to it. The 120 gigabyte hard drive is for a special purpose. I'm using this machine to build images of Windows installs. Basically I do a clean install of Windows 7, Windows 10 or whatnot and I customize it with programs and you know everything. I, I, I build a, a base image sort of. And what this does is it helps cut back on time spent deploying machines, you know, installing windows and such. I just I do a clean install of windows, I customize the install with the needed programs and settings, and then I run sysprep and generalize the hardware, which I then can boot back into the main drive which has Windows 10 on it, and I can clone the second drive to a um, virtual disk image and store it wherever I want. And that way it makes deployment of machines easier. Um, in that case I just hook up a hard drive use the software I have installed here to do a clone from the virtual hard disk to a physical drive for said machine, install the drive in the said machine start it up and the, and the generalized image sets up you know, on the machine. That's how it's one of the big ways that IT organizations do deployments within their departments and such. But um, you may notice I have a bunch of cables going to the front of this thing. I have a setup here to where I can power hard drives and connect connect them up. Actually, I have two SATA hookups out here. That I, um, these are hot software, by the way. I have this one, and there's another one. And you may notice I have very, very long cables on these. Like, look how long this is, all the way out to here. So let's say if I just want to pull files off of a machine, I don't want to take the hard drive out, I can just, I can use that machine to power its hard disk and just run this cable and plug it into the SATA hard drive inside the machine. And if I have hard drives that's laying out, I can power them straight off of this machine's two SATA hookups I have available here. For power, and I have a 4-pin Molex, 
so I can power ID hard drives and I have a um, ID to USB adapter which is actually attached to a C drive over there I can plug that up to the USB and I can access ID hard drives that way so not 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 much too awful special here this is a lot of a lot of customization involved in this machine to make it do what I need it to do yeah this is the um, desktop and I had this I have a few basic things installed on here just for what I needed to do it's essential I wrote to the clean install Windows 10 but yeah um, that is the machine used for the tech room when you guys request it so I built one and it's been very beneficial so far Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video from Q Computer Channel. Remember to like the video, subscribe to Q Computer Channel for more updates, and remember to tick the bell so that we actually get notified of these updates. Did you know that I am also on a second channel? That's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos of bicycling, weather, elevators, and all sorts of other neat and interesting stuff. Feel free to subscribe to that channel as well. And again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.